little bit of, um, of research on napalm on Agent Orange in our one day um, history of Vietnam last week. Um, but Walter, could you just go a little bit, explain what, what Agent Orange is and, and what effect it's had on, on you? Well, um, what it is, it's a defoliant, but there's a contaminant in the defoliant, which, uh, which uh, cracks your genes, it destroys your genes genetically. And how they discovered that it was a problem was there was monster births in Vietnam. Um, and then eventually they stopped using it. But they knew that it was a problem before. But because it has a military use, they weren't going to stop using it. But they did eventually stop using it. But by that time, they had defoliated in large areas of the country. Um, it makes you... I didn't notice it, really. I mean, I don't know. I had a pilonidal cyst, which I thought something had to do with the air. But I really didn't notice it. I didn't really feel sick until I was out of numb about a year or so. I had all kinds of different things going along down here. I just felt sick all along, you know, things that a young guy shouldn't have, you know. And it took different turns, you know. It did different things. And then I, I went to the VA. If I, if I had a sore throat, that wouldn't go away. I had like for nine years a sore throat. I actually, yeah, that was a long time ago. And now it's actually it's still a little red. I can see it. But I don't have, it used to click when I swallowed. I don't have that anymore but it's still a little red. I remember going to the VA, telling the VA, after reading it, because I knew about that. In fact, I was in Vietnam. We were going through a, a, like a burned out village, me and my friends, and everything was dead, and including the trees, and some of them weren't burnt, but they were just, they were growing back from the bottom. And I said to my friends, everything's dead here. And they all stopped. And that fearless leader in the front, too, knew everything. For some reason, this guy knew everything. Everything you put into him, he was like a computer. And he turned around and he says, oh, that's that stuff they spray and it just kills the trees, doesn't hurt people. And everybody started walking. But it never quite, you know, I never quite, that didn't quite answer it for me. And when I saw it in the newspaper, I went to the VA and I told them I had a nine-year-old sore throat. And they were all standing around like guilty, looking at each other, you know. Oh, no, that's, that's normal. And I never heard of it before. <laughs> And then later on, it came out more and more and more, and finally, they, now they recognize it. But it's, uh, it does a lot of things. I mean, like when my kid, the deformed children, deformed hearts, no hands, holes in the heart. Uh, spina bifida. Spina bifida. Cancers. Lots of cancers, especially testicular cancer in young guys. I mean, you know. Um, Skin cancers. Lots of cancers. A lot of guys died of cancers. and. So I went for the tests and everything. They said I had an enlarged liver, an enlarged hard liver. They did all kinds of tests. When my kids were born, I counted all their fingers and toes. I mean, it makes you, uh, I and mean, I, I, I'm still here. But it's been a big problem. That's what it was. And the funny thing is that uh, we liked Agent Orange. Uh, why? Because um, we didn't want to get ambushed. So uh, it, 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 we, we liked when it was a moonscape. It looked like, it looked like the, the, the surface of the moon. Uh, everything was dead. There were craters from the bombing. You, you think you were on the moon. You, you didn't think you were on a... a, a you, think, you didn't think you were in a rainforest. Um, there, there, there were places in Vietnam where you walk in, in the jungle and it was a triple canopy. It was, even though it was the daytime, it was like night because the overhang of, of, of the growth was so, was so dense that you couldn't even see the sky. I mean, it was so lush and lucrative. And we killed all that off. And we were happy because we didn't want people ambushing us. So they dropped all this, tons of this Agent Orange onto, onto the jungles. And when we were out in the bush and we needed to, to take a bath, we jumped into one of these bomb craters that had water in it for the monsoons and we bathed in there. Or we drank that water as well. So it was mud, it was Agent Orange, it was, it, and it was water and we were drinking and bathing ourselves in it. We didn't know. Um, so um, th then it, it took, took the, the, the government, the VA, years to even acknowledge a link between Agent Orange and any sorts of cancers. Or the first they recognized a rash on your skin, chloracne. That was the first thing. But they denied it for, for, for about a good 10 years before they acknowledged certain diseases were linked to this Agent Orange. So it's, a, it's an atrocity we commit on human beings, our own people, 
as well as um, the Vietnamese people. Because to the Vietnamese to this day are dealing with birth defects from exposure, um, poisoning from Agent Orange. I remember seeing the planes fly up the river, spraying, and a couple hours later we'd smell it. It was like an oily kind of smell. But that river, they, they would go by truck and that's what, that was our drinking water. They cooked in it. We took showers in it. Like you said, everything. And also today, and today you've got the depleted uranium, which is doing the same thing, cracking people's genes. You've got very high cancer rates in Iraq, and you're going to have it in Afghanistan as well.